guys, what's up and welcome back to another video here on Sarko's YouTube channel. There's not much I need to say about today's game. I wouldn't say it's quite a six points at the bottom of the table yet, but it's still a big game in our season. I want to start off with, uh, hopefully the coronavirus doesn't come to Stoke. I'm going to get as much footage as footage as I can before the game as the players walk out because apparently they're not allowed to shake hands so that should be interesting uh, and then talking about Hull's squad today they've obviously lost two main factors in their squad in January with losing the likes of Kamil Grzyski to West Brom and Jared Bowen to West Ham um, but then they, they kind of replaced them with the likes of Marcus Madison from Peterborough and then Malik Wilkes from, I think it was Leeds, although we did play for Barnsley as well this season on loan. So, I hope you enjoyed today's match day vlog. It should be very interesting, you know, to see how the players respond after last week's result away at Luton at Kenilworth Road. That wasn't a great result, but it's another point towards safety and I take three today. So, come on, you Potters. Okay, guys. I'm taking precaution over the coronavirus. Okay guys, we've got a new feature on the channel. We've got the amazing chip review. Okay, so I'm gonna take my fork. Mm. Crispy on the sides. It's very crunchy on the sides as well as very fluffy in the middle as well. There's a really nice warm texture to the middle of it as well. Mm. 7.3 out of 10.
Rich, the one of the challenges you've done here at the stadium, you decided to go any time. So guys, we are at the end of our match day vlog. It finished Stoke 5, Hull 1. And I've said it so many times since Michael O'Neill's came in. I am blooming ecstatic with that performance today. Tom Mint is really coming to his own, you know, in the last few weeks as well. He's starting to play with a lot more pace, a lot more creativity, alongside us the whole team, you know. Every single player since O'Neill's came in has come on leaps and bounds. So I can't say anything much more today. Incredibly proud of the boys. I hope we can take that attitude into the Majeski away at Reading next weekend. Come on, you potters. <laughs> <laughs>